Hey friends, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I have a really good Dollar Tree haul tonight. So if this is your first time visiting, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. So tonight I thought that I would do a quick Dollar Tree haul. I have a lot of stuff though. And um, speaking of Dollar Tree, <laughs> That's where these came from, but look, don't they look so good? Original gummy bun mix, and it's got everything in it. I'm so excited. I shouldn't be eating this at nighttime for sure, but okay, so I can't do any tumblers right now because all my tumblers are tied up getting everybody's name on the tumblers that they won so I can have them ready to be sent out. Sorry, my ring just gave me a neighborhood alert. That's what I was looking at. So anyways, I had um, some other stuff I was going to work on. So tonight, I'm actually going to be doing some iron-on on Easter baskets while my... It's a good time while my turners are busy putting names on these cups. It's a good time for me to get some other stuff done. So I'm, so I am going to do names on Easter baskets. These are going to be so cute. I can't wait to show them to you, but I also wanted to make some planters for my back porch. So I went to Dollar Tree and I ended up having to go to a couple Dollar Trees because it's so weird. Like there are some things that they have like so much really good stuff right now. But then there's other things that like normal stuff. It's like the warehouse is running out of it because you know they're not getting their supplies in from China. It's got to be whatever's in the warehouse. So um, anyways, I needed some of the baskets so that I can make some planters. Going to, I went to either three or four Dollar Trees. And I still only found four of the wire baskets, which you normally find a million of them. But I found some other good stuff. And I wasn't going to do a Dollar Tree haul. But I figured right now it would be really nice to show that there's still a lot of great stuff out there. Okay? So, let's get started. Sorry, I'll stop smacking my gummies also. I love them. All right. So, I got a bunch of Bolero products. I love Bolero products. So, I got these things. I'm making a bunch of Easter baskets for people. So, I've just been stocking up on Easter basket stuff. Some of it will be for me. Some of it will be for like Easter baskets, stuff like that. But um, I do love Bolero products. So I've been using them for a really long time and I'm really picky. So, um, you know, I, I like the the um, Tatia for like my face cleaner, my um, moisturizer. I have, a, you know, some specific brands that I really like. But I do also like this Bolero products. And I really do use them. As a matter of fact, here, let me show you something. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what I have. Look. Here's, here's my drawer of wipes that I use. Yes. So, yes, I definitely use Bolero products. You can see. So, anyways. Okay. So, these are hair masks, and um, this one is detoxifying, detoxifying microalgae and ginseng, and then this one is um, coconut and rosehip. So I have some body wash in my shower right now in this flavor, and I like it. I like it a lot. So there, I got those, 
And look at this um, body butter, okay? Banana. And look how pretty this looks. Like, I just think that these are going to, I'm gonna make some just nice baskets for people. And I think that these are going to be really nice baskets. Look at this one. This is, um, it's a cocoa rose. Look how pretty the packaging is. It's just gonna make some really nice Easter baskets. I got those. Now, I myself am not a fan of putting like fizzies in my bathtub um, because I'm very particular when it comes to like female health and I think a lot of like smelly products like that are not a good idea. However, I love these um, bath fizzers. However, I like them. I put them in a um and a foot bowl and I use them for pedicures or you know like to soak my feet so these I love these things I buy them all the time and I, like I said use them to soak my feet so this is lavender oil and vanilla these are all bo bolero this is the coconut and rose oil hibiscus and pink clay I actually have this flavor of wipes in my purse right now face wipes. I love these, that flavor right there. Um, coconut rose oil and again the hibiscus. So these are great. I mean, if you're someone who loves the bath fizzies for baths, you know, for me personally, it's just not something that, you know, I like to do, but I do love them for foot soaks. And then I got this. It's a facial mist. A facial mist. I can't even speak. Sorry. Watermelon and aloe. Look how nice that is. It'd be super sweet in a basket. Um, complexion Perfection Jelly Face Mask. Look how nice that packaging is. So sweet. So cute. Like I think these will be so nice in Easter baskets. And then look at these face masks I found. I love rosé. And this is rose oil, vitamin rich, paper facial mask, Valero, of course. And then refreshing cosmic facial mask made with cucumber seed extract for a boost of skin nourishment. Look how pretty that is. And then this one is um, Mega Moisture with marine extracts and it's just the packaging is so pretty and it and I just think that these will be so nice in baskets and then um elf lip liner thought that would be nice let's see receipt you don't need that so I have one of the little bunny baskets for my grandson, but then I saw this one also. So I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use. They're both so cute. I just thought this was so cute, the little chick with, look, the little bow tie. How adorable is that? Um, okay, so I got these metal garden hooks. I actually have a DIY that I'm planning on using these for. Okay, and then also for Easter baskets because like I said I'm making a bunch of Easter baskets how awesome is this this is hard candy eye palettes for a dollar I can't believe it aren't they beautiful so this is like a leather feeling and like a plastic and look at it all the beautiful colors I would open them and swatch them for you. However, I am going to be giving these in Easter baskets, so I don't want to do that. But isn't that beautiful? And I know a lot of people have been finding a bunch of different um, hard candy items. So those are the only ones I found, but I thought they were adorable. And then I love these little um, stencil wheels. And they just have, you know, different little things. And I love these for, you know, different crafts, tumblers, you know, different things. All right. So 
also for my Easter baskets, how about this? So this is e.l.f. Highlighting Pearl Paint. I got two of those. And then this one is um, Highlighting Pearl Paint, but it is in um, more of a peach color. Isn't that fantastic for a dollar? Okay, and then these. So these are by Maybelline. They're the 540 Master Inks Eyeliner. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Again, $4, and they're Maybelline. And, oh, um, Vaseline Cocoa Butter. That's for me. So, somebody told me that they use this all the time and that they really love it, that it works so well. So, I thought I would try it. I mean, it's a dollar. I might as well try it. It's it's the New View, New View Hydration Body Wash. So, I'm going to try it because I have heard that it is really, really good. And these just smelled so good. And I did get some shampoo at a different time. I have it put away. And then this is the conditioner. I got two conditioners to go with shampoo because, you know, I always use much more conditioner than shampoo. But it's sulfate-free color protection. And I thought, oh, I might as well try it. It smells so, so good. It smells really good. And they have one for blondes also, but I didn't see that one. So I got those. All right, here's my baskets that I am was looking for because I'm going to be making, I need some plant stands for out back on my porch. So I got these to make those. Let's see. My bag broke, so that's why this stuff is in a different bag, if you can see that, but it's all from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so, how about these? I wanna know, I only saw these in one store, and I haven't seen anybody hold them. How super cute are these? Have you seen these little eggs? So these guys are little bunnies. So I got two packs of those. And look, little carrots. How cute. So stinking cute. So I got those. And look, little chickies. So I got two packs of the chickies. And I don't know why I only got one pack of these. I should have got two. But look, oh my gosh, how cute are these? Okay, so that's an elephant inside of there. There's a little pig, a little monkey, a little frog a little cow, and a little hippo. So cute. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Okay, and then, how about these? So cute. Little crayons, shaped like bunnies. Oh, so cute for Easter baskets. I think this will probably be for my niece. It's a little perfume kit. How cute is that? Shrink art. Now, mind you, my niece is a young teenager, but who's ever too old for shrink it inks? So cute. And then my niece, she loves to draw. She's a great artist. Well, actually, both of my nieces are great artists, but one of them's in college and one of them is not in college yet. But look at these. They're watercolor pencils. She's going to love these. And then just some more drawing pencils. I get these for her all the time, but these will go in her basket. But how cute is that? Watercolor pencils. She's going to love it. 
And then I got this for her. It says, Life is Better with Sprinkles. Look at this cute little book. It is so cute. Little notebook. So I thought this would be really good for her. It'll go in her basket also. Now, these guys here, my grandson is definitely, definitely too, too small for these. But I got these because I was thinking that I'll put them away. At some point, these would probably be really cute for like a cake. A birthday cake or something. So, that's actually what these are for. But, I mean, super cute. They're Disney. Alright, so this will go in one of my niece's Easter baskets also. Now, this is not necessarily the best deal. I picked it up, though. But honestly, I think you get this for a dollar. I think at Walmart, it's like 87 cents. So just know that. And an e.l.f. Um, eyeliner in coffee. Again, a good little, um, a good little product for to go in um, baskets, right? Little scrunchies. And these are, I like these kind. They don't tear your hair. So those are Easter basket stuff along with, look at these um, nice little clips. And well, this I actually got for the, I needed some emery boards for my grandson's little fingernails. So that's what that's for. Um, these are microfiber facial cleaning pads. Thought I put those in my little niece's Easter basket as well. Okay, so for the younger niece, again, okay, slime. Look how, how cute this packaging is. Mermaid slime. Young teenager, but again, you're never too old for slime, especially in your Easter basket. And then zombie slime. How about that? And original silly putty. Oh my gosh, I used to love this stuff when I was a kid. How awesome is that? Okay, and I got these um, e.l.f. brushes. There. And these are um, stipling brushes. So I thought, well, they would be cute in, you know, Easter baskets as I'm doing some little baskets for friends and stuff. And this also for my niece, Shopkins pens. How cute are those? And then I found these. They're um, sinful colors, lip gloss. And I thought, well, these will be nice little Easter basket gifts also. You normally find these at Walmart. So, and I think I saw them, they're like $2.83 or something like that. So it's a good deal. nail polish all right and then i saw these these are so cute so my one niece loves kitty cats that's the one in college and then puppy dogs for my other niece and then of course my daughter and one of these are for me too because i'm also a puppy dog fanatic speaking of which mine's over there sleeping Oh, some more pencils. That's the watercolor pencil. Okay, so. Alright, I'll put that stuff away after. Sorry. Okay. Now these. <laughs> I'm so excited over these. So I put them aside in a little bag because I know. Listen, trust me. I do realize how old my little grandson is. But can I tell you? That kid, I'm not even joking. I had put a video on my Instagram. That child, he is just turned four months old. He is seriously trying to crawl. He turns every which way, rolls all over, sits up. Um, he's saying, hey, and he'll say, mama. And he is seriously knees underneath him and moving. He scoots backwards right now, but he is only four months old. 
and he's teething. So at some point, I know, but I saw these toothbrushes. Okay, it's a little animal and the toothbrush pops out. You know, at some point he will need every one of these. So I sure did get him every little animal that they had. I think I got lucky and I must have got there just as they put them out. Little cow, tiger, elephant, and a little frog. How cute are these things? I, I think that these are one of the most adorable things I have found. So, I got those. Okay, these little boxes, these little gift boxes I got to put away. But look how cute that is. The little hound's tooth with the um, mailer color top there. How cute is that? Adorable. And then they also had it in round. There will always come a time that you need a box. And look how pretty this one is. Love it. Absolutely love it. So those are super cute. All right. So I wasn't going to get one of these baskets. I keep seeing them and they are really cute. They are cute and they're sturdy. But I was like, I don't need that. Well, I decided, you know, actually, when we go to the beach, this would be great to put my grandson's toys in as he's, you know, getting big enough to go to the beach because the sand will go through. So that's why I got navy blue. And let's see. I found some super cute stickers. I can never pass up cute stickers. So this is adorable. Look at that. Little strawberries. So cute. Little rocket ships. Adorable. Adorable. Let's see. And how cute is this? I thought this would be cute in Easter baskets also. Little mini clipboard. Right? Nice little Easter basket stuff. And, oh, I got this little trinket dish. You know what I was going to do with this? So, I saw somebody had made, so I'm going to use like one of the glass um, cutting boards. Figure I'll hot glue this down, put a little cup that I hot glue on it beside it to hold the hot glue sticks. And then this will be to... It'll be a little tray to set my hot glue gun on so that any drips will go into this. So that's what I got this for. So I'm not, I think I saw it on Pinterest. I think maybe somebody, somebody had done it. So, and let's see. Okay, so these, I love Paisley. Paisley's so pretty. Isn't this so cute? So you know what? I got this. I thought that I might take this apart on one part of it, stuff it, sew it back, and I thought these would make really nice outdoor pillows. So, yeah, I'm going to try it and see. Now, these are not new. These have been around for a while, but I really like this material, and, you know, I broke down and bought one. I was like, it is so cute. I'm just going to get one. I always passed it up and was like, oh, no, I'm going to get it. Okay, so how these are so cute. They're give me, and they are pony holders. So it's the pony band, but then this goes up and around to cover your rubber band. Isn't that cute? Green, like a slate and a gray. And then... The, these are um, CeeLo markers. I thought that those nice colors, I could always use those. Another Sharpie. And, oh, Paper Mate pencils. That was a good deal, so I got those. Um, I needed some foil sheets, so that's... Okay, look how cute this is. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's got puppy dogs. How sweet is that? It's so cute. It's got puppy dogs on it. 
so I couldn't pass it up. Oh, okay, so I should, I got some little cow socks and some rainbow socks. Those will go in my niece's Easter basket. So I got these little balls, you know, I get it, my grandson is only little right now, but you know, things, you don't always find stuff again and it'll be no time before he's playing with beach balls and a little shark and a little lion. How cute is that? And then these I went ahead and got because, you know, it's not that easy to find these for little kids. Swim goggles. So how cute are those? I got the sharks and the walruses. Aren't those adorable? And they're for the little ones. You know, they're toddlers. So, um, yeah, you don't always find them. So I thought that was great. So, anyways, that's it. That is my haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. But I just, you know, since I was out and about, found some good stuff, I just wanted to show you that there's still some good things out there. And I know that people are maybe getting a little bit worried because, um, you know, we're not really getting shipments in for places that really rely a lot on China for products. But apparently Dollar Tree's got a lot going on in their warehouse. It's funny though, some of the normal products, it's like they're running out, so I don't know. But finding lots of good stuff. Anyways, hey, listen, I hope you guys have a great, great, great rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will be doing some iron on Easter baskets that I'll be bringing to you while my cup turners are in progress, getting everybody's names on their cup. All right, listen, you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Again, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. Bye, see you later.